There's just not enough room in this Jeep for our dogs, our camping gear, and everything else. But I think we have a solution. That's right, with the help of this kit from Quadratech, this should be a pretty easy install. With Quadratech's plug and play kit, it makes it easy. It comes with the wiring harness, comes with the hitch, and the nuts are welded on here so you don't have to pull the bumper off to get in there and tighten this down. And it also comes with your Jeep hitch cover. To do the install, we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna need a torque wrench with an 18 millimeter socket. We're gonna need a ratchet. And we may also use this 18 millimeter ratchet wrench. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna install this wiring harness plug and play. Then we're going to remove these two inner screws. All right, last screw. Okay, just tap it a little bit <laughs> and take it out. And there's the harness. Next, we're going to depress and pull out the plug. A side note, this came from inside here where you can put the harness through this hole. Let's install the harness. Okay, let's just stick the long part in and stick it through the hole. Now, make your connections. Goes there, snap it on, hear that click, then go to the next one, snap it, hear it click, it's secure. Action. All right, to secure it to the light, here's a clip called the Christmas tree. You just push it in with a little force. <laughs> There's a plug for here. Okay. All right. All you need is to stuff the rest of the wiring inside or the harness. Just do the opposite. Lock it in and put the screws in. All right, so you can see underneath the Jeep here, we're back here by the bumper, that there's the four holes. There's one, two, three, and four. And that's where we're gonna install the hitch. Oh, I see him. All right, Jill's putting it up there. It was fairly easy. Yes. It was very easy. And here's a bolt, get the first one lined up. And you're gonna have to go over the top of the muffler here. I'm hoping you can see what she's doing there. I started a little bit. I really don't need to leave my hand here because it's kind of I'll still leave already. my hand there. But the trick is to get it through the nut. <laughs> there it goes. You get you gotta wiggle it around some. All right, well, we got the first one in there. We had to do a little finagling. I think Jill's gonna go ahead and get the rest of them in there. And we'll be right back. You could use a ratchet wrench or, oops, sorry. You could use a socket wrench. But she's gonna snug them all up and then we'll get to torquing them when we come right back. All right, and while Jill finishes torquing up the last nut here. All right. Now we're going to get to uh, finish routing the wiring. 
Okay, so there's a hole. It's gonna be hard for it to focus. It's in the instructions, but there's a hole right there where your wiring harness came out. And you're gonna plug in this Christmas tree, plug into that, and then you're gonna route your harness over the top of your frame rail. So we made a slight mistake when we put the wiring harness together, uh, which I'll show you in some B-roll right here. Uh, so there, so you do have that first connection right there underneath where the hole where you ran your piece out. And there's another connection they want you to put right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Right here, it's by the muffler. And then you come across and you have a connection here and you have a connection here. And then you connect to your hitch itself. But since we messed up, we don't have this connection here, so. This is how our routing is. It's over the top of the frame, but it's still secure. Nothing's gonna happen with it. And that is it, we are done. Well, we finally can go and play. It's definitely plug and play. It took maybe 30 minutes, you know, besides everything else. We have a drop hitch just to pull our trailer with. And we have a recovery hitch with a fancy hook. You know, what I recommend, keep the hook up this way. So if someone rear ends you, you'll just hook on to their bumper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, I'm glad we have something to haul our camping gear in and the dogs. And of course, Warren, what? when we go camping. You gotta keep me in there. Yes. All right, should we go test it out? Let's go test it out. All right, let's go get the trailer. And stop. A little more. A little more. All right, so the trailer is hooked up. The wiring harness is plugged in. And let's check all our lights. So we got lights there. Side marker lights working. Looks like our brake lights are working. Okay, Jill, put it in park and turn on the left turn signal a right turn signal brakes all right that's good marker light over here is working all right now we go for a test drive all right jill go ahead go where Drive around the block here. <laughs> the block? <laughs> I get to drive, yay. Remember, swing wide, it's a friggin' trailer. <laughs> it's a message to all you Swift drivers out there. trailer hitch installed. That's pretty easy too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It, plug and play, like it said. Yeah. It's pretty easy peasy. So we're pretty excited to get out and I've had this trailer. I originally bought this trailer for a YJ that I had many years ago, but uh, it never really happened. So it was a little too long though. This is a 12 footer. I think I'd like to get an eight footer, but, uh, and then of course, Put some better wheels and tires on it 
But that's going to do it for this episode. Guess we'll uh, see y'all soon. See y'all soon.